Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. If this is your first time past, please do hit that subscribe button before we get into the video. Um, I'm here in the Tier 7 British Tech Tree Destroyer, the Lightning. It is one of my favourite boats, and I think one of the most versatile ships in this game at Tier 7 4 Destroyers. You'll see from the splash card that we end up with a fairly hefty damage score on this one, and a really good base XP score. So, without further ado, let's get into this game and see how we achieve that. We spawn close to the middle of the map. And uh, there are only two DDs and there are three capture points. And that means that uh, we're going to have to leave something undefended so that we can uh, push and take a cap. I'm looking around me to see what ships we've got out here. We've got a Fiji there. I think there's an Iowa off to my right as well and another battleship. And one of the things I'm going to show you in this game is that sometimes um, it is not always the best idea to push in to a capture point straight off um, when you're playing solo like this you really are dependent on other people knowing how to play the game and to be able to put themselves in a position to support you and that is going to be something that is going to be lacking in the first part of this game and uh, it was a little disappointing that uh, there there wasn't the level of support that I'd like to expect. But uh, we're going to make the most out of it. We're going to make the most out of it. So we see that there's a Belfast there. He's pushing in behind this island. We know he's got radar. And that's something that I'm very, very cautious of. Now, I know that I can't go into this cap without getting myself spotted here so i'm calling for fire onto that belfast there's plenty of big guns around and uh, that belfast should um, be one of the ships that's first out of this game but uh, our fiji obviously sails straight out overruns his smoke screen and gets deleted literally within seconds of the game I see the Z23 pushing. I push my torps out there. I'm spotted as well. We've got our sonar running just in case he's got uh, his torpedoes running as well. But he has got his sonar running and knows where those torpedoes are coming from. So I am going to turn around and get away from that guy. Drop out of his sonar detection and let that burn out. I'm expecting this um, Belfast to light up his radar, which is why I'm pushing back around behind this hill, because if he wants to get guns on me, he's going to have to pull out from behind that hill. But he's not going to. He's a smart cookie, and he is a very smart player. Um, those ships that I thought would be in a position to support me have all chosen to steer parked behind the island. We do get a torpedo hit on something. I don't actually know what it is. But uh, we did get a fire on that Chapayev, who, thankfully for us, is AFK. But uh, rather than focus on the ships that um, are more of a risk to us, everybody is going to be slapping fire on that Chapayev for a free kill. Because we all know that AFK stands for a free kill. We see torpedoes come out. That Belfast is backing away, so we are cautiously going to push forward, seeing that that key is going to push as well. He probably thinks that I've turned around and run away because I'm not contesting this cap. But I've got a little surprise for him. Or should I say I've got eight little surprises for him. With our torpedoes away... We still haven't got anybody in a position to support. I'm not sure what that Belfast is up to, um, but he is going to get himself spotted and spot me at the same time in a moment. And I'm nearly going to have a bit of a brain fart. But we're watching those torps. The key tries to take a turn in, but he does go out to a dev strike as we see the Belfast push in to B cap. Now it looks as though the right side of the mini-map has completely collapsed. There's a destroyer pushing around there, and I think there's two battleships as well. So that flank is pretty much folding. Um, so I'm really hoping that they can at least hold it while we take care 
of this side of the map. Um, we do have a slight lead in points, but we only have one capture point, and to maintain that advantage, we are going to have to push in now. So I've come around to the front of um, where these two um, battleships and cruiser are, and I've decided I'm going to push the cap and hopefully lead them out now that we know that there is no battleship out here to counter them, because the key does have torpedoes, so there was a risk there. There is still another battleship behind it, but I'm pinging the map to say where the destroyer is. I'm trying to stay thin as I approach the cap, getting ready to um, engage if we get spotted. Looking at the map again, we get the Z23 spotted, and I'm surprised that um, I don't go guns on him, but I'm just looking, and then I completely fluff this first shot because I think he's slowing down but he's not so we miss him he knows we're here now but we are going to get guns on i'm popping the smoke because i want him to blind top me and then i decided that i'm going to run him down but i make a mistake and forget that the belfast is behind me now at the moment i'm thinking here's the destroyer come out of a smoke screen and then i see the shells come past me and i'm pretty much stuffed at this point and I think the only thing I can do is try to stay as narrow as possible to that Belfast. And hopefully somebody can do something about them. The Z23 obviously did stay in the smoke and he didn't have sonar running. Because we take him out for our second dev strike of the game. And that puts us up to 110,000 damage already. Um, the Belfast is thankfully taken out by the Iowa. So they finally grown a pair of balls to come out from behind the island. But I think also partly because they know that there are two battleships pushing around from the rear. So there's less in front of them than there is to the rear. So they are going to take the path of least resistance. We do get a shot across a top at this um, battleship. He is burning. That is ticking. I put a set of torpedoes across the back of there in case he's going to reverse out of it. And then we slow our engines, waiting for the cap to turn. Now, uh, we can see that that uh, Alabama was ticking down. And um, for whatever reason, the battleship that was off to our left um, had him spotted, fired, and uh, literally traded one for one. So that wasn't potentially the smartest move in the book. So not only does he just come out from behind the rock, but he immediately gets himself taken out of the game as well. Now, looking at this, there's a, we got a two cap advantage over reds. The two battleships have pushed all the way through. We've got a battleship and a destroyer kiting away from them. And uh, I imagine that DD is just kiting and torping and kiting and torping. And uh, I have a think. Do I push through and uh, take the capture point? Or do I go and help these guys out? Because um, apart from those two out there, the only other ships are the ones that are behind me. And uh, they are the ones that were sitting back there behind that island on the cap while I tried to uh, help them out. And I decide that, screw it, if nobody's going to help me this game, then uh, I'm going to help myself. And so we're going to take a shortcut through and try and head these two guys off at the pass. And the cruiser runs straight in front of me. So we come to an abrupt halt. And then we're going to carry on our journey. So uh, I didn't look left before crossing. He didn't look right before coming through the cap, but uh, needless to say, we both got through, so there is that. Now, I don't know why this destroyer didn't actually swing out um, to the right and get flanking shots on those, because with fire and torpedoes from the front, you're giving um, the battleships, even though they're big and slow, you're giving them the opportunity to turn away from them and you know i feel like he, he feels that he's being hunted so he's got to keep moving away so uh, i'm going to try and come in to the rescue here and see what i can do to sort this out um, these two appear to have played a pretty solid game 
pushing this flank hard and uh, I'm trying to gauge what he's going to do I put one set out and then I figure if he sees those he might try a turn again so I am going to put the other set out as I run a smoke screen and get some HE onto him I don't realize I've left a little bit of a gap there between those two spreads we lose our Iowa who obviously got tired of running and decided to turn back and fight and take himself out of the game and we are going to get some shots onto this North Carolina as you'll see that uh, other DD is turning to the north and I think he's going to come back around but we lose sight of that guy momentarily so I think I'm going to push forward out of a smoke but we get him spotted again and as you see there I left just enough of a gap between those two torpedo spreads to let that guy get through but we do get a fire on him and that's going to keep ticking and so we're going to keep firing shots at him allow our smoke to run and just do what we can to try and chip away at that last bit of damage so zooming out there he's gone behind he's got a perma burn on him and i see that uh, i think it's a fusion has put tops on him so that kill i think he's not going to burn down in time but we do pick up a high caliber with the burn damage and then the sorry it's a loyang not a fusion picks him up with torpedoes which leaves one ship left in the game and uh, i don't want to let this one get away from me so we're going to play exactly the same game. We're going to put our torpedoes out. He knows there's a destroyer in front of him. He knows there's a destroyer on this flank. So he is going to turn and run against the cruiser, I think it is, which is uh, there in the middle. I don't actually know if he kills it, but we do get a fire on him. And uh, we're going to keep firing at him while those torpedoes run. We get a second fire on him and he does damage control but that means that even if i get one torpedo and a flood that he is absolutely naked he sees the torpedoes too late to turn we take him out and we tick over the damage to just over i think it is 155,000, just under 156,000, with two devastating strikes and a high caliber we have a solo cap and a couple of cap defends 10 top hits three kills and just under 100 main gun hits so that's one of the reasons i like the lightning because you really can mix it up but switching across to the final result screen we get a very healthy 3245 base xp which is what a thousand more than a thousand above the second place so i think that's the sign of a very good game played by me and uh sadly with the chap i have been out i think that's the only reason i survived on that cap to be honest but if you have enjoyed watching this video if you've enjoyed watching the lightning being played please do hit that like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, if you want to leave me a comment down in the comment section and uh, any questions about the gameplay the commander build anything like that and i'll get back to you as soon as i can until next time take care and goodbye